What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, City Boy Farming. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a, a simple hydroponic system. Okay, to get everything started, to see how our frame looks. So this is one I already did before, but I kind of did it wrong. So we're going to need one two, three, four elbows, and two, four, six T's, and they all uh, half inch. So now we're gonna have to look at this, just the same thing, they all half inch, and we're gonna need some sprayers, to get that connected, and you see I have a cufflink, the cufflink is a half inch as well. So with the PVC pipe going through, connected to the pump. So the pump gonna suck in the water and the water gonna come and shoot out through the sprayers like this. And we're gonna need 16 sprayers. These are 180, no, I'm sorry. These are 180 and these are 360 really, going all the way around. So it just sprays all the way around. And you can see how this one is not really, I'm sorry, and you can see how this one really not supposed to be like this, but, we're gonna fix this because they're supposed to be at the bottom. So let's get started on making. Before I get started with any more part of this video, I want to say I got this idea from Family Plot. It's a YouTube channel. You should go check them out. They're really nice. Um, so I'm at Home Depot right now, and I'm ready to get started to get all my supplies that I need to start my inexpensive hydroponic system. Now these are the prices I spent at Home Depot. As you can see, I have the PVC one-inch pipes, T's. And I have some cufflinks as well. And then you got the cufflinks with the thread. So they're not that expensive, but they can be a little bit cheaper, especially if you're only buying one. And this right here are the half inch, 10 foot of pipes. And this is what came up, $15.91. So I did my best shopping at Home Depot. Some of the prices was a little pricey, but if I could find them cheaper, that's what I'm gonna do. So I looked up on Lowe's website and found that it was a little cheaper. So I'm at Lowe's right now. And here I will be getting my tote and probably a few more pieces of pipe. And also I will be getting the tool and die, tool and die, the drill bit and the thread. So, yeah. Now I just came back. I had to go back to Home Depot because Lowe's did not have no tool and tap. Uh, drill, well, ridge maker. I, you know, it was so hard trying to figure, trying to make this makes sense to the employee at Lowe's. But anyways, we got it. We had to go back to Home Depot. And this one little thing cost $6.80 something cent. And the guy, the clerk, the cashier was like, yeah, that would be $686. I looked and I was like, Are you funny, you funny. You, have, you made my day. But we need more people like that. You know, positive people in this world. But yeah, we got it, got everything. Now to get things started, for you to get the perfect body for your hydroponic system, you want to make sure the frame has six T's, and these are half inch, uh, four elbows, which are half inch as well, two 10 inch, I'm sorry, two 10 foot half inch PVC pipes, and you want to have your tote, which is 27 gallons. And then you, of course, you want to have your sprayers. You're going to have 16 sprayers all together. I don't have that right now. And you want to have a three-fourth hole saw maker as well. And uh, gouge, I think I'm pronouncing that right. And I'm going to show you where that goes in a minute. And a 10-inch, half-inch uh, rubber tube. So that's pretty much it when it comes to making a body. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do and how to make it. So don't worry. Before we get started, we got to... We gotta start with the body. So the body is compressed of PVC pipes. You have T's, you have elbows, and you have some cufflinks, and then you have some, you know, regular PVC pipes. So before we get started, let's get measured. We're gonna start with the width. Get this together. I measured this before and it was 27 inches. Just to get this party on a row, if I can get the right measurements. Started. And this is at 27 inches. 
even the length. Bring it back in some. This look like it's 17 and a half inches. So the width is 27 inches. And the length is 20, I'm sorry, 17 and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is cut some PVC pipe and place the frame inside and I'm gonna show you what that look like. All right, so what I did was I measured it, marked it down with a dry erase marker and got some pipe cutters, cause that's what you're gonna need, some pipe cutters. And we're gonna cut it. Now it's the, this is the, I believe, yep, this is the width, so this is the one that's 27 inches even. And so you just wanna cut. Perfect. It might not be even on this part, but that, that's okay. Cause it's going on, they all going inside some. Y'all going to sound one of these, so that's the purpose of it. So, you might have to shave a little part off. See how it's 27 inches even in there? But just to make it fit with the T and the elbows, we might have to cut a little more off. Never know that. So, right now, I'm just making the width. So I gotta make two of these, and then I'm gonna have the 17 and a half inches going, which is the length these this way so let's get started okay for some of my cuts i had to do it a little differently just because one i think this is kind of bulged out and even the top don't fit on here so i do have this set right here which is the length so it can fit in perfectly just like that as you can see it's okay if it's spin up like that and it's okay if it's tight you want it tight actually so it can stay in place so this you want the elbows on the corner like this and the T's facing outward because we want to add some more PVC pipe going this way just for the body to be full. Now, this is what I did. So I made my cuts, put my T's. First, I started with my elbow. Then with my, uh, this cut is four, four and a half. So you need two, four and a half to make this. And then one, three and a half for this to fit. Just because I said this, this tote, I think all totes are different. Now, even though they all say 20, even though they all have like the same gallons, if you get, what I'm trying to say, all totes are different just because the bulginess of it, even though they say 27 gallons, they might be a little bit wider than usual tote. There are 27 gallons. You see, it can fit in just like that. You have them both evenly matched. Now for the width, I had to make, it was 27 even, but just for it to fit inside the elbows, I had to make sure they was, this is a little bit over 23 and a half. So this right here is 23 and a half over. I want this to fit perfectly. Just like that. And you wanna make sure that your small ends are matched up on both sides, just so the center part can match up evenly. Push this in, grab my other one. I had to do the same thing with this one, 20, a little bit 23 over, and 23 and a half over. Get this right in there. Now I ain't push this in all the way, but you want your body to fit perfectly and at least stay headed. This in here perfect. You want to have it at least two inches below. And I think that's perfect. Do all our sides. Two. All right. Perfect. So now we got that situation. Because this, I felt like this was right here. Just to get these inside was the hard part. Now it's time to get the full body assembled. So. I'll let you know what I need to do next. Uh, yeah. All right, for me to get this center part for the frame, 
I had to take my 23 and three quarters and place it in the center, but I took an inch off and made 22 and three quarters and turned that 22 and three quarters into a half, which made it 11 and three eighths, I believe. And so I did this both sides. So now we gotta do is get the center part. So I'm gonna try to figure this part. You want this in like this. You want this T part facing down. That's how you get your pump. So now we're about to create the pump section. So you want to make sure you have something that fits inside this T that connects this two, these two together. So let me show you what that looked like in a minute. All right, as you can see, I marked it with markers. You want to get a 10, 24 tap and drill bit. That way you can have something to puncture it. And then you will have your thread maker. Now, the reason why you need a thread maker is because the sprayer that you have have threads. And so that's why it's the, and it's the size of a 1024. So it's going to screw in, screw out, and it'd be so easy for you to take out and put back in. So let's get started. So the goal is to get them centered as possible. You don't want to press down too hard. No, you probably, I should probably tell you, you need some sandpaper just to get through it and clean this up. Uh, but I'm gonna do all that. Then I'm gonna tap it or put the threads in. And yeah, then we should be able to test it. All right, I have my sprayers in. Now, I'm just using this as a test. I need to get something that actually fit for this one because this one not actually working. So once I do that, we'll be ready to go. And we have a functioning, working, inexpensive hydroponic system. And then we're gonna tweak it up a little more so you know where the plugs and drainage hole need to go. All right, this is where the troubleshooting begin. So I see, I test, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I tested out already. I'm gonna let you see what I see. And this is how, this is how I know what to fix and what not to fix and what is the problem. I guess I just said that. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, so my sprayers work. I just have one, one, two, three, not one right here. So we can just test out and see what the sprayers look like. And just in case, see if I need to place any uh, PVC piping uh, anywhere around, most likely is that. But other than that, let's test it out. All right, everything seems to work. See, it's on side, and I can turn it up if I want to, so I'm gonna turn it up. But you can tell that right there needs to be tighter. But everything else seems to be working perfectly fine. And yeah, this is nice. This is very nice. It's a bigger version if I do hydroponic systems so. and uh, an aero guard, but this is nice. But you can tell how much water pressure coming out. Look right there, because I don't have a, I don't have a sprayer right there. But yeah, everything works well. I'm excited. All right, now we know exactly what's working, what we need to fix. Let's just move on to the next part and. We just know that water and electricity don't mix. So we're gonna have to make an escape route for this. So we're gonna have to put a plug right here, a plug hole, actually, I should say, right about here. And it should be able to stick on out without no water getting through. And we're gonna use a one inch uh, hole saw just to punch it right through so it, the plug head can fit right through. Alrighty, boom, that's how you want it. 
And that way it's under the sprayer, so no water will go out. Now it's time to make one more. Now it's time to make one more. We're going to put it at the bottom, so it's going to be our drainage valve. All right, for this drainage hole, we will need a size of a three-fourths uh, hole saw, and we're going to put it right here. And then I'm going to hook up some more parts that you will need for you to create the, vein the drainage valve. All right, now since we got our hole ready to go, this is a half inch groundage. This is what you want to put in the hole. And then you want to connect your pipe piece for your tubing. I'm going to show you what that look like in a minute. All right, now this is what it should look like. Now this will create a seal, so no water should get out. That's why it's a three, four inch. I'm sorry, yeah, three, four of an inch hole with a one inch, I'm sorry, with a half inch uh, groundage uh, seal. So now you have your tubing. This is about like... 10 inches so keep that about 10 inches and that way this thing turns it like turns and that's where you can drain the water out and yeah so that's pretty much it for this part this is how you create your oh inexpensive hydroponic system and yeah and we're going to fix these parts right here and that's about it everything works well so i say give it a try uh, to save some money. This cost me roughly about, I don't know, like 30 some bucks with everything included. And yeah, it's way cheaper than the I do hydroponic system and the Aero Garden. Bigger, better. And I'm going to show you in a later video on how I use it to grow my plants. So yeah, if you find this video very helpful, please hit that like button. Also share, share it to somebody who's into the hydroponics or any or indoor garden or trying to do some gardening but they don't have enough space like share this video also if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to get notified when i post more videos thank you for watching again this is city boy farming peace